Hi, I'm Duncan. I'm the co-founder as well as the CEO of CryptoBlock. We set up CryptoBlock, started from seven people, and right now we have uh, almost 70 uh, people uh, in Hong Kong and also in Taiwan, in Malaysia, as well as in Thailand. Basically composed of several aspects. The first one is trade finance. The second thing is about the CBDC, which is about central bank digital currency. And then the third one is really about how to monitor those things. Because when we are building all those things, um, we have a lot of blockchain nodes um, running 24 seven. So we need to monitor that. There is a letter of credit trade finance platform, uh, which is called Contour. But Contour is not just limited to letter of credit. It's basically a trade finance network, um, but we just start uh, from letter of credit. So together with eight uh, global banks uh, and also our three, Bing & Co, as well as CryptoBlock, we set up this platform, which is a global platform. And this platform is a blockchain-based platform running on our three quarta. And the purpose of this platform is to build trust. So basically what we want to do is that for all the corporates um, and also the banks, they will be able to upload their documents and generate documents on this network so that they can share those documents in a very secure and direct way. At the same time, we are also building another system which is in uh, the uh, trade finance industry, uh, which is called Atlas Elite. So Atlas Elite is basically like a complementary network um, when compared with the Contour network. So Alice Elite Network is an open account trade finance system uh, which basically focused on the communication between the corporates as well as the, the banks. So what we hope to do is that we hope to accelerate the entire digital transformation. So MIDAS stands for the Motor Insurance DRT-based authentication system. So basically it's a blockchain system which connects all the insurance companies in Hong Kong together with some of the um, other NGOs as well as government institutions, for example, transport department, as well as the Hong Kong police force, and also everybody. And basically all the car owners, they will be able to access Midas and check whether their motor has been insured or not. They can also make use of this Midas and bring the, um, the vehicle renewal process to the transport department, the licensing office at the transport department, and then make the entire uh, vehicle licensing renewal much easier and faster. So serverless is not a, an application uh, for a particular industry, but serverless is kind of like a system for geeks. Um, the reason why I say it is because serverless is basically like a monitoring system or kind of like a dashboard. Um, for your vehicle. So the service is um, monitoring the health um, of your system, of your blockchain system. So basically serverless is kind of like a watchdog, making sure that all the nodes of your blockchain system are up and running healthily. Whenever there is any error or warning messages, serverless is a centralized dashboard and serverless will tell you exactly what happens or what might go wrong before it's really crash. Serverless can also make any, uh, some kinds of alerting um, to your cell phone, to your, um, some other kinds of communication channel to alert you whenever there is any warning or some kinds of problem um, that might happen on your system. Mm -hmm.